Yep. We have another Monet trumpet in stock. It's crazy. We actually have uh, four, uh, actually three, in stock right now. So stay tuned to this video. I'm going to tell you more about this beautiful B flat trumpet. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I'm just gonna turn this mic up for a little bit. I hope you're doing well. If you have a second, if you haven't subscribed, subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button down there because we have so many cool horns to be listed. Um, and if you're you know, around the shop here in Kansas City, come by. It's Sunday, Sunday fun day. I'm getting a little additional work done uh today uh because next week we'll be heading to arkansas for the itf conference look at this horn this is a beautiful early chicago monet trumpet serial number in the 400 range um, this is most likely an mb111 but i'm not sure what exact model it is all i know is that it plays like a million bucks my first monet trumpet that i owned i've owned maybe six or seven uh, over the course of my collecting days. Uh, my first Monet was serial number 538. And as I said on the LTJ video, if anybody has that horn, reach out to me. I'd love to purchase it again uh, back from whoever owns it. It's a great trumpet. Um, this horn is very, very traditional in nature. It is, uh, you know, it's a little longer than a stock horn. Um, this is a Thane trumpet for uh, who worked at Monet for a while. So you can see how this horn is just a little bit longer overall. Um, Monette has two-piece bells. I'm gonna show you that two-piece seam right there. Oh, yeah, you can see that. And we haven't done anything to this horn other than soap and water cleaning because we don't wanna avoid any warranty. There is signs of some dent work on the bell. There's lots of pictures on the listing. The listing is in the description. Um, and there's also just a little speckle I might not be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. A little speckle of red rot in this lead pipe. Now, that being said, this lead pipe is very thick walled, so I don't know if it's a huge deal at all, other than eventually it will need to be replaced. Um, the horn has great compression. I suspect, um, and I'll pull out a valve to show you all. Look how perfect that valve looks. Um, I suspect this is a replacement piston. That's just off the top of my head. I think it's a replacement piston. Um, this horn plays just so great. A couple features that I love about these horns. Look how far back the valve block is. So it especially noticeable when you see the bell. So see how close the valve block is to the bell. So it has a very different um, feeling in, in the horn in terms of how it's held. The weight is probably an ounce uh, heavier than a uh, normal Bach trumpet. It's a very uh, all a great all-around trumpet. And you heard a little bit at the beginning. I'm going to play a lot more for you so you can hear it. So let's start with um, some classical stuff. I can't even tell you the last time I played Haydn, especially on a B flat trumpet. So anyways, it's way more versatile than one will think. Here's some uh, Charlier.
frecks are not on the horn's fault but me. Um, I, if you wanted to play like a nice uh, ballad, this is so good. Here's Stardust. So while it's, it's a more traditional horn in the sense of the shape and size and configuration, it doesn't have a large bell, it doesn't have um, a heavy feel, it doesn't have recessed valves, ovated slides, it's still very much in the characteristic of the Monet trumpet. And some people say to us, especially because we sell so many Adams instruments, well, an Adams is just a copy of Monet, and no, they've never actually had a Monet trumpet in their shop. Um, and the concept of the sound concept of Adams trumpets is very different than the sound concept of Monet trumpets. I always say if you really, 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 really want that sound concept of the Monet trumpet, you really have to buy the Monet trumpet. Um, it does that so well. Uh, like here's a little bit more. And it has great versatility in the sound. Would I play this as a lead trumpet? No, there's plenty of other options. But if you put in a lead mouthpiece, like this is our uh, TAZ um, acrylic, it might really spark. Check this out. I've never done this on this horn, so let's see what happens. With the price of new Monet trumpets over $10,000, yes, you heard that right, this horn is priced uh, very fairly. We do believe it's a one owner horn. We talked to the, uh, we uh, recently helped an estate and we talked to the widow of the estate and they went to the Monet factory to pick out two horns, this and a C trumpet, which hold on, actually have right here. Um, so this is, uh, and they're very close in, in date. This one's in the 430s. This is in the right below 500. So if you're looking, we haven't listed that one yet, but we will soon. If you're looking for a great early Chicago Monet that won't break the bank, this is it. It's a great, great playing trumpet. Um, I'd love to keep it, but I have too many horns in my collection right now. Thanks so much for watching these videos. We appreciate you so much. We'd love to see you here in Kansas City at any time. Stay cool, stay safe, hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us, and keep on keeping on. Cheers.